Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. I'm your host Tomas Salas and in this video we are checking out the new Wii Evo designed by Rit Laconico. We're going to see exactly what this knife has to offer in order to find out if it is right for your everyday carry, outdoor adventure, or next tactical mission. With that being said, let's cut into it. This new Wii Evoke comes in with an overall length of 8.02 inches. The one seen here is a bronze titanium with a black stone wash finish blade that has a length of 3.48 inches comprised of CPM20 CV. I have to say that recently I've been loving the CPM20 CV coming out of Wii. It comes razor sharp as seen on that big banter and through all sorts of testing, this thing holds an amazing edge. Now these handles are solid titanium. There is no milling work in them. Even though they are thin, they do have a little bit of heft to them, which I really enjoy coming in with a weight of of 3.76 ounces. I really like that it does favor the handle a little bit, giving some great wieldability and control with this blade, so it makes it very comfortable to use. This locks into place with an integral frame lock that has a steel lock bar insert and over travel stop pin, and I love how smooth this is. Now, typically with frame locks, I don't always enjoy them because when you squeeze them together, you can't open the blade. This one, no matter how tight you squeeze it, you can still open the blade. So I don't know what magic they worked on this Wii Evoke, but I really love it. A feature I really love about this blade is how many ways you can deploy it. Because it has that front flipper with added jimping for traction, you can use your thumb, you can use the corner of your finger, the tip of your finger, you can have fun fidgeting with this knife. It also sports dual sided thumb studs that you can use to slow open, give them a hard flick, middle finger flick it, and again it's super smooth and that's because of those caged ceramic ball bearings. I remember the first time I handled this knife, I went for that front flipper and it surprised me with how little effort it took, making it a great option if you're just getting into the front flipper. You also have those thumb studs there as a backup option if you're not too comfortable yet. Now this knife does sport those dual ambidextrous thumb studs, however this knife is not. It does only have a pocket clip for tip up, right hand carry only, which is kind of disappointing to see if I'm being honest. We also saw that in the Gavco knives high fin, it was for right handers only. So what the heck, I hope that that's not a trend that continues because I would really love to carry these on my left side. Of course I'm being a little melodramatic here, but I do really enjoy this pocket clip and it also has a backspacer and hidden lanyard hole so you can add those if you want to attach a lanyard to this. While carrying and using this for testing and evaluation, I have really come to appreciate the subtleties on this blade shape. It has such a nice belly, very acute point, and even though it does have a deep swedge on the top, it has a lot of meat behind it where your thumb's gonna go. So even for those longer, harder use carving tasks through thicker plastics or woods, it makes it very comfortable to use. It also is fairly neutral, so you can use this in a wide variety of grips for any sort of tasks. It's also thick enough in the blade that you can use it in any sort of kitchen work that you may need. Because of the neutral handle and very comfortable blade shape, it actually makes it great for some outdoor field craft utility tasks such as getting a feather stick going or whittling a tent stick. Uh, I really enjoy the versatility that this blade comes with, which is kind of surprising because when I first looked at it, I thought it was a very elegant knife that I'd carry on more dressier occasions. I've really come to appreciate the versatility and cutting performance that this delivers on. Now, because I do feel comfortable using it for those hard to use tasks, it also translates to being great for any sort of last minute, last ditch self-defense capabilities. It has a great flow to it and a very acute point that's in line for fast targeting if that's something that you may need. Now while doing some size comparisons, I couldn't help myself but notice some resemblance to a Chris Reeves Sabenza. I think you get tons of versatility at a fraction of the price point. This knife has been an epic part of my everyday carry. It's a very handsome looking knife that you can use for classy occasions but still robust enough and has a confidence in the hand that's not gonna break on you for any sort of outdoor tasks or last minute personal defense needs. I think this is an absolute win. Congratulations to Ray Lacanago for an amazing knife. I'm super excited to see what else you can create. This Wii Evoke has really grown on me and at the time of this review, you can find it for around $250. They also have some really high-end models going out around 500 with that damn steel blade, but I think this is such a classy option that I feel confident wearing it to like a wedding or some formal dress occasion. However, it's still versatile and strong enough that I could use this in the woods for outdoor adventure use. This has quickly become one of my favorite everyday carry folders. So let me know in the comment section down below, what are your thoughts on this Wii Evoke? Do you have one? Are you thinking about getting one? And if this review helped you in any way, please make sure to drop a like, share, and subscribe because it does help grow the channel and ensures that you won't miss future gear reviews helping you upgrade your own everyday carry gear. Also make sure to follow us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern to get a behind the scenes look at new gear, the testing process, and updates on gear giveaways you won't want to miss. With that being said, my name is Tomas Salas. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.